Hello guys and welcome back to Wes Life. Um we're gonna just jump straight into this episode. Um episode thirty four. I just wanna make a quick apology though before we do. Um so last week I got an episode out um called I think I called it Easter or something like that. But basically it was quite annoying because as I was chatting on it, um and getting up to well I believe to be important parts and gospel a lot of the audio just kept cutting out um quite a lot and i didn't really check that video before i put it out so i, I do apologize um to be honest i don't really check a lot of audio i just normally publish it and or post it whatever and yeah that's my mistake so i do apologize um but i think for the most part you can understand what i'm saying but if not and you want me to we record that and post it again just let me know and i'll probably do that for you yeah let's just jump in with wes wes so this week um to be honest i have got a lot of work done for uni um a lot more than i would like normally um i've had this project assignment that i've been working on for quite a while and i've i've finished it off and got it submitted um i'm actually going to be talking about that um uh, for wes says so i've done that i've uh i also recorded a let's play series of loco roco uh well an episode i recorded it a first episode for it so that's on the channel now um if you'd if you'd like to see that like continue like with more episodes then just let me know because i probably will do uh another episode at least and see how that goes I enjoy that game, Loco Roco. I used to play it quite a lot when I was younger. Um, it's a fun little game, uh, really enjoyable. But yeah, if you want me to do any kind of gaming videos, just, you know, I, the games that I prefer to play are just like fun little silly games or games that you can just have a laugh on. Uh, I'm not really much of like a really heavy, serious gamer. Um, I don't tend to like single player games, where, unless the game is very gripping. I I don't really play like huge single player games because I just don't have the time for it really and patience and I'd rather just have a laugh with other people. But yeah, let me know and uh, I'll consider playing some other stuff. But yeah, going on forward with this channel, the podcast, if you don't know, well, I haven't really shared this verbally on this channel yet, but we're going to be heading over to other platforms such as Spotify um google podcasts and uh some other well some other platforms and when i find find out the names i'll actually post them all like yeah in in a link and stuff but the podcast we're going to move forward because to be honest not many people watch um or listen to a podcast that is on youtube if it's just audio most podcasts that are on youtube like there's video to go with it so that's understandable why people would watch them but um i don't intend on doing any kind of video at the moment as it is and it's just myself i don't really know why you'd well some people might but i don't really feel too comfortable just recording myself film this maybe if the podcast blows up or gets bigger and i don't know more people desire it but yeah we'll move over to at the minute there is i'm 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 working on trying to get um content out for you and i, I want to stick to like 20 25 minute videos um well audio clips and put them on but uh yeah there's got to be a lot more structure to the podcast i guess and the things that we talk about um we just yeah i'll try and just put more effort into it because i want to so that's the way moving forward but this channel is still we're still going to get content content out on this channel and so i'm just finding out what what i want to put on and what you guys want to um watch so if you want if there's anything you want even if it's just like you know vlogs stuff like that just let me know and i'll consider it and probably put it on but uh i don't i can't do that unless you let me know um so yeah that's kind of that's kind of what what my week's been like to be honest getting a lot of work done um just recording these videos yeah um i feel like 
that for the most part though, the assignment work that I've been doing is taking over most of my time. And I have been chilling out a bit as well, having a bit of a break. I had a break on Wednesday from work and just chilled out. Played a bit of Uncharted on the PlayStation, which I've never played before, but it's a fun game. But that's uh that's that's where's Wes. So um for Wes says this this episode. I do want to talk about my project and what I've been doing because it's been it's interested me quite a lot. So uh, at the start of my second year in uni, so last September, we were we were told that we'd we've got this project that we've got to be working on throughout the year, and um, we could choose whatever topic we want it to be on. If, um, but as it had to cover um, mental well being and dig no digital well being, digital well being, yeah. And so you you could choose literally anything you wanted to do it on as long as it involved technology um because I am studying i t and some sort of like well being and that kind of thing um so I think well people picked loads of different things but i I decided to go down the path of um my proposal was is there a link between the increase in growth of depression rates and the rise of technology and so i've spent a lot of time researching this and the conclusion that i've come out with and found really is that there isn't there isn't a dialect a direct clear-cut answer to saying yeah there is a link um because lots and lots of research has been carried out and what what has been concluded is that there is links between um those who spend longer amounts of time on well using technology and social media and stuff there is links between them and those who have or show higher rates or feelings of depression and like those who spend or are addicted to technology um like there's high percentages of the people who are addicted to technology have actually been diagnosed with depression and stuff so that that is like very clear and people you know researchers have said yeah there's it's clear that those who spend ha longer amounts of time on tech sh to tend to show higher feelings of depression and i actually carried out some of my own research and my research did show that exactly because i i um i had a questionnaire that asked you know uh general questions like how old are you um how much time do you spend a day on technology or on social media that was a different question and how much time on average do you spend a week and that kind of thing and then i also had questions like have you ever been, have you ever been diagnosed with depression and uh have you ever had feelings of depression what type how like it was a scale of like how much have you had these feelings like have you had extreme feelings very mild feelings you know so i ca i did that out i sent it out um i actually had just i had 99 people partake in that survey so quite a lot of data to be honest um and when i was looking through it the the people who answered like they spent like above eight hours a day using social media or they spent you know about above eight hours a day using a form of technology so then people the majority of them did also answer that they've experienced extreme cases of depre uh, feelings of depression and more than half of them already had been diagnosed with depression that kind of thing so it did definitely show it was pretty like you know the the reviews and well, not reviews, the surveys um, that I carried out did match to similar research that I'd looked at that had been what well, carried out in, in the past. And so you do see that link. But what has been said is that there is no way to actually know if the person has got, a, you know, experiences these higher rates of depression if it's because they're spending more time on technology because there's different arguments like you know they could be spending that much time on technology because they're already 
be experiencing these feelings of depression and stuff like that. So there isn't a clear answer, I guess, to saying, yeah, technology and depression, so the increased grit, increased depression rates and the rise of technology has been causing this. Um, but I did, I did do a lot of other stuff, like looked at um, mental health organisation, um, different things like that, and they... In the UK, there was a thing that's been carried out every um, seven years. And so they see the, the growth in depression over the past seven years. The last one was actually carried out in 2014. And so we'll see the next one in 2021. And I do feel like when that is carried out and we see, I think there'll be a big difference because I also found a study that was carried out in America. And um, since the introduction of mobile phones, in i think it was 2009 um onwards i think between the years of 2012 and 15 when they really became popular the us saw a massive um well rise in like um self-harm and um suicide and you know depression itself which is really sad to be honest and when I've been looking at this stuff, it is alarming stuff, it really is, and it just, it saddens me quite a lot, and it really has upset me. But the research that I've been doing, it's, you know, I can, if you want it, I can show it you. Um, it's quite a lot, I've got, I think, when I submitted it, I had just under 17,000 words. So, a lot of stuff, a lot of findings, a lot of links to all these different, um... Well, the sources that I've found. But yeah, it's alarming stuff. And it's sad, really, because I don't think people are being old, like, are being educated a lot on this and, you know, the dangers that social media and things can actually have. Because a lot a lot of the um, these sources that I found, people were, like, speculating on, giving their assumptions on why they think social media and technology could be a reason as to why people are being... You know being well feeling depressed stuff like that you know people's mental health uh, well it's just it's sad I'll, let me i'll just tell you some of the stuff um i mean some people said stuff like you know the fear of missing out is a big one and now this is this is actually true in in a lot of cases to be honest because I, I know i've experienced this in the past and um I feel like social media is dangerous because people tend... Now, I'm not saying it's the case with everyone, but people tend to just put the best parts of life. It's like a glorified version of all the best parts of their life. And there's not really much on there that people post where it's like all the like horrible things that you know they go through in the week and stuff. It's always the best parts. And so when you see it, people can think, wow, well, their life is so much better than mine i wish I, I wish i was involved in that i wish i was doing that and stuff like this and, you know this can even happen with people on youtube people watch youtubers and they get like you know upset like why is my life not like that my life's terrible compared to theirs and uh i think it really has a big effect on people and um you know the more we sp the more time we spend on social media and being consumed by that the bigger the effect can be on us you know, there's also things like people say, like social media itself isn't the the thing that's causing us to be depressed, but it's like the the software that we're using and stuff like that. So an example, just saying like, you know, technology's grown so much, and now we've got all these amazing uh, photo editing um, software and stuff like that, and people now can really edit and manipulate the body and the image to however they want it, post it on things like Instagram and stuff. And then people see that and then they, you know, they get upset. They're like, why why do I not look like that? And why does this person look so amazing and stuff? But in reality, it's not the way they actually look. And so people are blaming software like that to being the reason why people are becoming depressed. Um, But yeah, I, you know, there's so many different like little arguments and stuff but i do strongly believe that social media and technology use does have an effect on you it really does it can get you so low and so 
depressed and yeah it's addictive at the same time and people are still going on it day by day spending so many hours countlessly on it and this was really alarming to me because with the things that are going on around the world at the minute in corona and i don't know how people are doing um across the world and well across the country and stuff and how bad the situation really is um well and so when i say that i mean in terms of like people going on social media and things like that because i actually deleted it when as we went into lockdown i deleted all social media as you know and that has been so so great it's been so refreshing it's been it's been a brilliant um well the best idea ever had probably and i couldn't recommend it enough to anyone and so my hopes is that people um are doing you know i, I just hope that people are doing all right and I I only could urge you to really like consider just get deleting social media for like a week or just not using it. Or well, I would say you'd have to delete it off your phone because it's easier said than done. Just say no, I'm not use it. But delete it off your phone. I would say really, really try it and see how you feel after the week. Because I felt you know the first few days I was always like pulling out my phone to check like if I got any messages or if I got any notifications but then i'd be like oh I, I didn't oh yeah i deleted it obviously i've not got the app but now i feel so great and i'm even considering not downloading it again after we've because i said i'd only do it temporary and while we're in lockdown and stuff and then i'd re-download it but i'm considering not doing it because it's just been so great and i did actually about um well just over a year ago now um so i i haven't really shared this before on podcast but i it was the it was the last year at the beginning of the year, well, towards the end of 2018, going into 19. It was the, the hardest time in my life. It was I was so low, so just feeling so depressed about loads of different things. And I actually deleted social media and it lasted for probably about two months. And it was really, really good. And that time was like so beneficial and it helped me just you know just mentally and getting into a much better state of mind and i focused on other things and it was it was amazing and then i did i did re-download it all um something something else happened and then i just it caused me to re-download social media and stuff again and to be honest i've been doing all right since then um probably the best i've ever done in my life to be honest i've just this past year has been amazing like last year probably since like april onwards so like a year ago now things are just getting better in my life and it was yeah it's been the best year of my life um but yeah i've deleted it all again now and you know after all the research that i have done like i said there's a lot of concerning and alarming things and i only could urge people to just really spend less time on social media and um you know if you can just delete it see what see what your life is like for you know a week without it you might see a difference you might not um and you know a lot a lot of these studies that are being done they're only continued and maybe one day we will see if there is a genuine link between um technology and depression levels and i think people might wake up a bit but uh you know I care about you all and uh, I just I want to see the world become a better place and just little things like this isn't it anyway that's I've kind of just rambled on a bit I hope you've you know something from that has maybe just caught your interest a little bit or whatever you know I don't know um but that's that's what it says so now I'm gonna share some wise words with you and I think I've kind of already done that. I'd say just try to put the technology down. Just put it down. And, you know, try to get through a week without it. See what see what the outcome is like. If you can go a week and you feel great, go another week. Just see how far you can get. And I mean, we're in lockdown at the minute. So I don't know what you're missing out on. If you're on social media, 
all you will see probably is a lot of people posting things about coronavirus and people posting the walk that they've been on or something like that. So you're not missing out on loads. Um, so why not just delete it for a bit, see how you get on and see how you feel. And that's what that's what I would say, really. Um, I mean, it's Sunday today. I am recording this a bit late. I know it's uh, getting on later in the week. Um, I would encourage you. To also, just if you've never been, I mean, if you listen to this and you you know, because I'm I'm a Christian. If you've listened to this, you're not a Christian, and you don't know much about um god or the bible and jesus and what what it says i'd say go on youtube and search for um why not search for like a church live stream because churches across the country right now are doing live stream services i mean my church is um we're actually partnered with another church if you want to um find sermons um from a church you can do that if you if you want to actually listen to the sermons from my church i'll actually post it in the link in well, as a link in the description. Um, but that would be another part. Well, a bit of wise words here. I'd say just why not have a look. Because, because it could be a great, um, great fear. Because the Bible has changed my life. God's changed my life. And changed yours too. And it's, you know, an amazing thing. Uh, but yeah, this, is, this has been today's or this week's episode i hope you've enjoyed and um yeah I'll, I'll leave a link in the description too if you've got any questions or any topics you want me to answer in the future um or anything you want me to talk about let me know till next time guys have a good week and cheery bye